Joining me this morning at 1045theteam.com is Niski Una baseball standout Garrett Whitley. We are just days away from the MLB draft. Garrett, how are you? I'm good, Brady. How are you? Excellent, although I'm sure I'm not quite as stressed out as you. I'm sure the demands here are getting pretty intense as we stand on Thursday, just days away from Monday's MLB draft. What are your emotions like right now? Well, I'm just really excited. You know, it's just a couple of days away now, and this has been something I've been anticipating like heavily for this past year and you know my entire life has been something that i dreamed of so i'm just really excited what's this whole process been like especially the last few weeks since your season ended at niskiuna who have you leaned on who have you gotten advice from what has it been like i've really leaned on my parents um they've they've always had my back and they've been really strong um with supporting me these past couple of weeks have been really really busy uh, people contacting me um it, it's been a lot to, to keep up with, and especially still because I'm in school, too. But, I mean, my parents have been there for me this entire time, and uh, they've helped me so much. I, I can't thank them enough. Now, you got invited to the draft on Monday by Major League Baseball, right? Yeah. Now, you will be going? Yeah. How did that whole process work out? How many people do they invite? Who called you? How did that go, and how did that feel? I got an email from the NLB. It's up. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they, I'm not sure exactly how many guys they invite, but only three guys will be going down this year. So it'll be me, Brendan Rogers from Florida and Ash Russell from Indiana. Um, and I mean, it's just a really cool thing. They do, they set up some meet and greets for us. They do some dinners and some, uh, there's a lot of media down there. And then, um, for the actual draft, I'll be in. Studio 42 at the MLB Network, and uh, it'll just be a really, really cool experience. Now, after you get selected, you're going to talk to the MLB Network, I would assume, right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. What are you hearing? Have you heard from anybody, any teams contacting you, uh, saying that they're that they're potentially thinking about picking you? Well, I've had contact with all 30 teams, um, and you know, I'm not sure who, who may or may not pick me yet. You know, I'll have to see how it plays out. Now, you are committed to play baseball next season at Wake Forest. Just curious, this happens to every college, but what is your communication like with the Wake Forest coaching staff, or is there not really any until once the draft happens? I've had communication with them. Um, you know, a lot of it's just been really supportive from them. They've been really good with it. Um, they said that they will support me regardless of the decision that I make. Um, it's going to always be a deacon, which is really cool to them, you know, because I don't go to school, obviously they – They'd be missing out on one player that they were supposed to have, and but and they said I can still use their facilities if I want to. Um, and I can come back to school there and all that stuff. They'd always still have my back. It's, they've been really good about it. What is the relief of knowing you have options that you're not a college senior who's who's hoping he gets picked or has one shot to get drafted? What's the life? What's it like knowing that you could get drafted and signed, or you do have the option to go to school? I'm sure that is a big relief. It is. It is, because knowing that I have another great option to fall back on if the draft doesn't go how I'd like it to, it really takes a lot of the pressure off. Are you graduating high school no matter what you're staying at Niski Unit through graduation, even if you even if you sign hypothetically the day after the draft, you have to finish high school no matter what? Right. I actually wouldn't be allowed to actually sign the papers until after I graduate. I'm going to give you a chance to play car salesman here. If you're in the room with the Major League General Manager, why should they take their first overall pick, and why should they take Garrett Whitley? They should take Garrett Whitley because he's a strong athletic ball player who has five tools and is one of the most mature players in the draft. Garrett Whitley. Ready for Pro Bowl. Ready for Pro Bowl. Garrett Whitley, Niski Una Baseball standout with us here, 1045theteam.com looking to become the second player from the Capital Region to be drafted in the first round in back-to-back years. Last year, it was Jeff Hoffman out of Shaker. Again, we talked about it a little bit three weeks ago when we spoke, but just how unbelievable is that to think about two players from the Capital Region potentially being taken in the first round in back-to-back years? It, it really is. It's just that. It doesn't happen a whole lot from the Northeast, and two people from our region in two years, that would be, that'd be great. I'm hoping that it happens. Garrett Whitley getting ready for Monday night. He's going to be in New York City at the MLB Network for the Major League Draft. We will certainly be watching with all eyes here in the Capital Region. Garrett, good luck. Thank you, Brady.